sipping, I'm 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 sipping. This is Sippin' with Sammy. I am Mr. Flash and only the one and only Sippin' with Sammy. Sam Malone, Barstool Rug. If you ain't sippin' with Sammy, you ain't sippin' right. Please get your fucking life together. Yup! And we in here, man. Happy Thursday. Shout out to everybody that tapped in. Make sure you get your drinks poured and your things twirled and do whatever you gotta do to get comfortable for us. But today I have a special guest in the building. I have my guy G Myers. How you feeling, bro? Good, man. Good, good. Glad to have you. Glad to have you. Likewise. Now... G Myers was introduced to us via Lovely Lay Beats and Pops. Yes, sir. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you how real Pops is. <laughs> Lay hit me up and said she wanted you to come through. I said, cool, you know, schedule it and all that. We figure it out. Um, Pops texted me, said he wanted you to come through. I said, cool. Then I go to the studio. Yeah. Pops said, Sammy, let me talk to you. <laughs> Some OG shit. He pulled me outside. Yeah, so G Myers. <laughs> I'm like, no, I got him. I got him. I'm like, he actually reached out. I told him, like, we communicated. You right. know what I'm saying? So all that to say, I did my job. My man is here now. We go have some fun, man. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> but um, interesting enough, you left an impression on two people that I highly respect. Okay. Um, how did you meet them? So Lay and her pop. Right. That's my guy though. Um <laughs> that's the homie. My man Just, right? He, we used, I used to be in a group called Love Park. Mm. I sing, mm-hmm. right? So we've been together for a while, whatever. Now, like, now we kind of like branching off. Mm-hmm. So my man Just did a show for his birthday mm-hmm. and he sings. Did a big show. He pulled some of his, the artists that he knows, some of the dopest artists that I know, or whatnot. And we all hit the stage one by one. Mm. I did my, I did my, uh, I did my set. Afterwards, Lay Pop came over to me. He was like, yo, man, that joint was nice. Da, 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 da. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. was like, yeah, we do beats and all that. So I'm like, all right, because <laughs> that's exactly what I need. Because normally I go to YouTube and like get beats from there. Ain't nothing wrong with it, but, but I, it ain't I, that. I, it ain't that. Right. And I would rather like to work one on one with somebody mm-hmm. personally. So in the middle of the show, now it's all music playing, everybody going around. Niggas is high and all that. He so start playing beats. He start playing the beats. <laughs> so here's my thing. I respect him for that because yep. my thing is like, when I go to events, you know, I gotta, you gotta connect with people, mm-hmm. but they call it network. Absolutely. But you know, you, you'll get people number, Instagram and all that and don't hit them up. Mm-hmm. But I don't, that's why I don't really mangle with a lot of people unless I know that they're serious. But what he showed me was like, yo, I'm finna play this beat. Mm-hmm. Why is all this noise going on? Mm-hmm. I took him more serious than anything Absolutely. else. So when I listened to it, I was like, oh, why? Wow, right, why? Wow, I see mm-hmm. where you at. All right. And then we all took a picture and then we was like, yo, we're going to get your math and all that. We exchanged numbers. And then after that, it literally like was a snowball effect from there. Dope. That's dope. That's, that's fire. Dope. That's organic. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's organic and that's fly. I yeah. like that. And it sounds just like it. Yeah. That's why I was like, I know he played the beat right yeah, there. He, he was like, it was music playing. I'm like, he played the beat right, anyway. Right, my right. guy. <laughs> right. But how long you been doing music? I've been doing it for about 10 years. 10 years? Like I said, like I've been in a group called Love Park. I remember the Love Park group. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like we them, man, we worked with Charlie Mac. Mm-hmm. We done did like. Y'all had all the city placements. Like y'all, yeah. <laughs> y'all was yeah. on the parkway and. All yep. of that, like y'all did all the all of the shit that made the news. Yeah, well, our it was a group called Brotherly Love. I remember Brotherly Love. Okay. I'm talking about Love Park love because okay. Brotherly Love did too. And I, yeah. I know the names have something to do with it, but yeah. y'all had a couple looks that weren't just like regular up and coming looks. They was like mainstream looks. Yeah. I don't want to say just the news, but like, I, yeah, righteous, righteous. So we was like in the group and all that. We did like stuff for Seven Streeter. We met her. Mm-hmm. Sung to a uh, uh, seventh streeter at the time. Like I'm 29. About seventh streeter. Yeah, She's that's dope. the reason why I had to go into my age. I'm 29. You right, know what I mean, right, like right. at the time I was like 22, 21. We was like in the group and all that, doing it real heavy and like going to city to city, Atlanta, New York, opening up for certain people. We was on Apollo Live. Mm-hmm. Uh, we gave roses to Gladys Knight. That's beautiful. Um, 
That's so heavy. It was, yeah, we That's was so on heavy. America's Got Talent at the time. Like, we did a lot of stuff as a group. Mm-hmm. But as time went on, like, we still worked together, mm-hmm. but we just branched off individually. You know, it was only three of us. So one of, the, one of us, like, really do engineer now, and the other one, like, is an artist. I'm an artist, an independent artist. But anytime we, we need to transform, we could transform it to the group. So mm-hmm. it's been, like, 10 years doing music. Uh, sololy has been like about three years out of the ten. Now, what's the difference? Like, do you still get those same? Do you still have those same outlets that you had? I know some of them aren't there, but like, yeah, because like of them? yeah, because like we're by us being a group, people remember us being a group, mm-hmm. and we're not just we wasn't just a group. We were like brothers, mm-hmm. so. Even if we not be in a group, we still hanging out with each other. We still got the same connections, resources when we was a group. So it is like the same thing. My black thing. book, your black book. The real rat. Yeah, real rat. yeah, so, yeah. See, that's fire. That's that's nice. Now, would y'all, when y'all put together, it organically, y'all became a group. Organically. Organically. Like, because male groups are usually put together now. Yeah. It's strange. Yeah. It's, sometimes it works. It Sometimes it works, but mm-hmm. that's more like commercial reasons like mm-hmm. we wasn't really commercial even though we was trying to be commercial mm-hmm. but we were really like an organic boys the men type group right like straight off the curve raw singing and all that together like we would literally be downtown singing on the corner making money around that time like it was by like 2010 around 2010 and all that and then we start seeing other young boys doing it more and more mm-hmm. but because it was a lost start for a while people yeah, wasn't doing that no more yeah it wasn't but we would be downtown i remember one time we was downtown singing on the corner and uh the bull one of the security officer balls that played on uh what was it not hitch uh john the will smith movie oh um John, hold up, John, John Cock, H- Hitchcock, Hitchcock, something like that. H- H- Hancock, when Hancock, he's a superhero. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the one, superhero. one of them, right. na- whatever the name of that movie is. He came up to us. He walked up to us. He was like, "You know who I am?" We was like, "Nah." He was like, "While we was down there singing, he stopped us. He was like, "Yeah, I played in that movie." Da, 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 da. And we was like, "Oh shit, I remember. You. I remember you." He dropped like. Two hundred dollars in there, full of twenties. He was like, "Hold on, let me take like two twenties back." <laughs> and he dropped that it in there. Love. We was like, "Yo, that was real love." Like, yeah. that's when we we really was like coming up around that time where we was singing on the corner and people was like inspired. Brothers. Yeah, that's why y'all still brothers. Still brothers to this day, man. Because that ain't even like. First of all, the police could fuck with you. Mm-hmm. The city is dangerous. Mm-hmm. Your confidence got to be at a certain level. Like all y'all right. have to like trust each other in a real way to deliver. When the wind blowing, you know what I'm Absolutely. saying? Like I don't, whatever may may be, you know what I mean. You are dealing with Absolutely. the elements, you are dealing with dogs and shit, everything mm-hmm. when you outside. For and real. it's like to say that that was something that wasn't even normal. Which the time period you're talking about, I, I believe you. Like I feel like there was the boys, the men's, and the roots, and the certain month that was on South Street, was on Market, was on Broad, and then now it's just like homeless people sometimes that that have a, a um a gift and they yeah, they're making their money yeah. to survive. But it's nice to hear young men took it back to the streets. Yeah, and for had fun. great results. That's fine. Right, right, like, right. That's fine. That's fun. That's we used dope to go as hell. To, we used to go to New York too. Mm-hmm. Go in the middle of Times Square and just sing. Like it'd be five of us. We'd go in there, collect all this bread, tell people to follow us, and then we'd go up right up in the lit red lobster. Mm-hmm. Count the money, distribute it, boom, 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 bang. Like, we was just trying to hustle, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying, at oh. the time. And it was like, we ain't really had no goals, but we just wanted to make money off our gift. Absolutely. So when we went out there, it was fun. But after a while, you know, once people start finding out we was making a little something, when, then it was like, oh, you need to get your uh, badge, your license, and all that to perform down here. And that's when it just started going like, niggas was like, man, fuck it, we just go back to Philly with it. Yeah, but, yeah. But Even it's though, love in New York, though. People yeah, it is it's definitely love. Times Square, it's people that literally have money to hand out in Times Square when they go yeah. down there, like on a tourist tip. They do, yeah. they do. And the thing about that, like, I go back to New York and do it again for the fun of it. But at my age, it's like I wouldn't really take it that serious. Once again, I, I'll just go a different route. Like going straight off the corner, straight raw, singing with it. Like I wouldn't do it again, but I did have fun doing it at that time. I can't say I did do that. That's dope. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's been done, and like you said, y'all could always vote try and do whatever's next, and it's right. probably something beyond that because y'all are all three building 
in different directions together. So that's powerful. Because right. y'all meet people every day. You know what I'm saying? Right. Individually. And if y'all still sharing notebooks and, and, and black books, then it's going to work out fine. But the transition into being solo, how was that? Was that something that you always wanted to do? Was it as easy as you thought? Yo, honestly, I'm going to be real, man. I didn't. Mm. I didn't want to be solo. You know, ever since I was young, I used to like force my younger brothers to sing with me mm -hmm. around like seven. I was like seven, forcing my younger little brothers to sing with me, go in front of my mom and dad. We'll sing. Mm -hmm. Made my dad cry. He gave us money and all that. Oh, that's fine. And the first time I've been to a concert was like, I seen Boys the Men. Mm. My dad put me on his shoulders and I was watching Boys the Men concert. I always wanted to be in a group. Mm -hmm. Why? Because of the sound and the melody. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, I feel like God was like tugging me, like, all right, I needed to, I needed you to be equipped. Mm -hmm. So you needed to be in the group. I needed you to learn some things. You need to be around these people. But originally, I'm gonna pull you out and draw you somewhere else. And I felt it in my heart, but I didn't want to. I wanted to hide behind the group. I wanted mm -hmm. to hide behind everybody. And it's, it's nice like- to, It's nice to know your role and have a role and everybody pulling their weight and yeah. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And it's like, now it's like, God is like, I, I gotta pull you, I gotta pull you out. Mm -hmm. I gotta show you what, what you made of. Like you gotta see yourself the way I see you. That's mm -hmm. how God is with me now. And I'm like, all right, Lord, you know, I'm gonna just go on out here and be a solo artist. and. I feel as though now is the season for me to do it because regardless if I want to do it or not, I just, I, I know it's destined for me to do it. Right. I just, there ain't no other way. You get strong enough to, to do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's why God's pulling you that way. Did you always write? Like, did you write when you was in a group? I did. I used to write. You did arranging too? I did arranging, but I had I had to learn a lot when I was in the group. You know what like, I'm saying? I think the arranging part is probably a big a big thing. That's the biggest thing. And by me learning with my two guys, shout out to Mark Love, shout out to Young Just, mm -hmm. Just Official, shout out to you guys. They really groomed me to be the artist that I am today, even though we was in the group. And they used to be the pen. Mm -hmm. I, I have the ideas. I sparked the conversations mm -hmm. like, we need to be like this, this, this. And they'd be like, you know what? I got a song. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. and, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? And I used to be the motivational one. Then after a while, like by me being in a group, time went by and, you know, we get older. We like go apart, part our ways. That was around the time where I had to learn myself now. Mm -hmm. What was what was what was it that I was bringing to the table being in the group? Right. And that's going to determine who I am as a solo artist. Mm -hmm. So I had to cultivate myself to learn how to, you know, arrange songs and write my own songs to the point me being alone, I meeting other people and like how I felt in the group, I looked up to my man Justin Mark, like they could sing their ass off. Mm -hmm. I looked up to them, but when, as I'm away and other pe people meeting me, mm -hmm. they look up to me, they like, yo, you could do this, you could do that. I'm like, oh, word. And then mm -hmm. as I'm meeting other artists, I'm writing songs for them and I'm doing stuff for them not realizing every the whole time I was in a group, this is all I was soaking up. But if you notice, a lot of great artists that solo started out in a group. Absolutely. Beyonce, Michael Jackson, mm -hmm. Justin Timberlake, like a Dude, lot of crazy. major, yeah, yeah, so it's like. Bobby Brown, all of them. Real rap, real <laughs> like, rap. Is, all the greats for the most part said Prince. Real and rap. Prince kind of just, was, he was in a group, but it was Prince in them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah. Real rap, so. Just thinking about it, it's like, yeah, it's, I, I had to go through that grooming season and it was tough. It was tough. You know, I go in the studio, choke. They'd be like, yo, you take it too long. Like, come on, you got to do this. But then after a while, like, I had to go through those tribulations at first mm -hmm. because where I'm at today, I can teach someone else that's just beginning. I know how that feels. I know what it feels like when you got to be rushed, but mm -hmm. just take your time. You know what I mean? Boom, 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 bang. And I can... You know, I help other artists also. Like, I help other artists arrange their songs. Rappers, singers, it don't matter who it right. is. As you should. You know. But it's like, um, one, you got to find your voice. Mm -hmm. But before you find your voice, you got to work on your ear. Absolutely. And being in the group gives you the ear and it gives you a voice. It doesn't give Absolutely. you the voice. Absolutely. So then there's a transition. And then there's finding yourself in the studio by yourself. Mm -hmm. 
You see what I'm saying? And right. singing ain't just singing. A lot of great voices. And I see them. I see them on some of the biggest stages. And sometimes when they should have went down or should have went flat, they go up. And it'd be like, oh, shit. Because they, you know what I mean? They, right. It ain't there. Like, they, 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 the arrangement was off. Or or, or, or or they ran out of breath and did the wrong thing. Did the wrong thing. But, like, it's noticeable when, like, I don't, I don't have to listen. The TV could be over there. We could be talking right here. As soon as that, ah, oh, shit. That was crazy. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> we're right. You'd be it like, jumps right. out because it hurts. Yeah, we're right. It hurts somebody that well, knows the got difference. The ears. Yep. You see what I'm saying? And to the average person in the crowd, oh, you did great. You did great. And that's another thing about artists. They beat themselves up a lot because they know where they went wrong at. They know what it was like when they was practicing it a thousand times and it was good. Then as soon as they get in front of people, they fucked up. They know they criticize themselves that way. But mm -hmm. then to the people that that ain't got the air, but they there for the fun of it, for the entertainment, they look at them like, yo, that was amazing. That was amazing. Because it's something that they're far from being able to do. Absolutely. So when they and then the artists, most times they beat themselves up and be like, Oh, I could have did better. Ain't nothing wrong with beating yourself up about it. You could have did better. But when you really think about it and you sit back to yourself and you really think about it like, all right, I just got to get better at it. I can't hold on to it. You're I a quarterback. You, right. you got to give yourself the fuck. But then you got to run the next play. Got to. You know what I'm saying? You have to, after the game and all that, you can analyze and say, this is what went wrong. I'm never doing that again. But you got to keep it moving. You know what I mean? You have to, they say quarterbacks have to have the um, shortest memories or something like that. Mm. And it's like, yeah, because you got to get everybody on track for the very next play next in a play. couple seconds. All right. And, and you might be getting off the ground. <laughs> All right. All right. You know what gotta I mean? Let that, yep. But it's a lot of weight. Like, I always tell people, man, we're in a privileged position. Most people would never be on a stage or in a forum at a podium with a full room's undivided attention. Mm -hmm. With that comes pressure. It comes responsibility. So we are supposed to be hard on ourselves, but we also got to be realistic about the check, the fact that it's one time. Mm -hmm. It's one time. You yep. know what I'm saying? Hopefully, it's just not the Grammy stage. And that's <laughs> that's what separates that's what separates greatness because Michael Jordan probably wouldn't have let that slide if he fucked up on that joint. He'd have mm -hmm. been like, "I'm in the gym tonight after this game." Maybe. But that's the thing. You got a gym too. You see what I'm saying? You Absolutely. got a gym too. You know how to rehearse. You know how to reset. Mm -hmm. You figure these things And you know how to call and help mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying You have a network already Of people that you You don't even have to worry about How they gonna look at you If you call for it Right Type shit right. And one thing that I tell you Say talking to you You're a very humble dude You know what I mean and I, and I like that about you But I saw in your bio Something jumped out to me Talk to me Talk to me It's this word man This term Gatekeeper Yeah what gates we talk about? Heaven? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it's more so as in something speaking it into existence. I feel as though, I mean, I'm 29 right now, and I look at my life like by the age of 40, 50, I'll be a gatekeeper mm. to some something political or something in the music. I can feel that, you know, and I'm just declaring it now, basically. Mm. So not to like, throw any miscommunication or a misunderstanding but I I, I I do want to be a gatekeeper I'm not a gatekeeper for, for the right reasons for the right reasons absolutely right, right. you know I, I, I honestly reason that me saying that is because the direction of music today don't get me wrong I'm a I'm a person that makes type of music where you know you curse and you talk about other shit because you know it's in the times. Mm -hmm. You know you do music in the times. You do music that's relatable. But then again, I'm also a big believer of making the right kind of music, put it on the right frequency, mm -hmm. where you can elevate society. Right. And I feel like the music that we have today don't elevate us. Like it do It don't really help us. That's just my personal opinion. Like a lot of times, because when you really look at it, like. The reason why I want to be a gatekeeper because most people, the route, the route that is going, it's like leading our kids in mm -hmm. the wrong direction. Mm -hmm. Now I, I can understand like people like our age, we understand the difference between good and evil. We we we, we choose to do evil or choose to do good. And not even all of us. <laughs> Some people are age. 
to touch back on the topic of like the gatekeeper, the idealistic of that for me is because, you know, people. I feel like it's a political reason why they're promoting a specific type of music. So I seen this thing. This guy did an experiment. He was like, if I play music talking about my pet, you th- would you play it on his radio? People was like, no. If I play music talking about my outfit, would you play it on his radio? He was like, no. He was like, if I play, if I uh, made music talking about killing someone, would you play it on his radio? They was like, yeah. Mm-hmm. And to when you really think about it gatekeepers that that they don't make decisions by accident like no they got all the information exactly so it's like on purpose for that type of music to be so popular today i mean it's definitely a reason why the top five twerking songs are played at eight o'clock while you're taking your kids to school you see what I'm saying? Like, like we you just uh, had to wait till at the bedtime to hear that kind of stuff. They throwing it on and now. It's all on the commute. Exactly. And that's that's you know that's not that's not even numbers driven. That's 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 intentional. That's exactly. Like, um, systematic racism. It's, it's it's a plan, right? Exactly. But the thing about it that that that's weird is, as a talent, we still got our own Rubik's cube algorithm thing. To where Kanye could get a Jesus walks on the radio while saying they would never play it on the radio, or like when you mentioned uh, the outfit. Yeah, I actually know a white guy. Don't live far from me in a rock band. He has a song called Pants. That's phenomenal. Really? And he wears the weirdest pants in the world. So every time he performs it, it's like, oh, that's that's oh, lit. I get it. You know what I mean? It's entertaining. And that might not never play on the radio, but I know it's awesome. And Absolutely. I'll platform him. I'll put him on the stage. Bro, you know right. what I mean? To let him do it in front right. of my people. But and that's the thing, like. In some ways, we are already geek gatekeepers. Mm-hmm. You mentioned earlier, your homie had a show who was a talent himself, and he got some of the most talented people that you know, was your quote, and put them in front of people that respect him. Mm-hmm. He opened ears and eyes to a lot of people that night. You yeah. know what I mean? And we look at yeah. these showcases, open mics, and things a certain way. Yeah. But if you work in your network right, and if your support is right, then... You do a lot for people on those nights. Mm-hmm. And if you could record it or stream it or whatever have you, then it's even more eyes. Then they've rather, like, for instance, we do Seven with Sammy Live on concert series, right? 5,000 to 10,000 views on all of those. Mm-hmm. I only got 2,500 subscribers. Gotcha. You see what I'm saying? Gotcha. But your grandma that might be down south mm-hmm. and don't want to stand next to me smoking while you performing, she get to watch you in the comfort of her crib. Correct. Your brother that's in the army, he mm-hmm. showing you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Across the country. They like and, and we see those numbers. Is it not? You right. know, they show you the right. data and it's like Germany was watching live and it's like, oh yeah, the right. was on there. He got folks. So, you know what I mean? Right. Everybody got that look. Right. So those things are things that we could build and you can actually and probably are Absolutely. because you say you help people all the time. Yeah. Probably are a gatekeeper now. But it's just funny because for you to be so humble and then have gatekeepers so bold is like an oxymoron. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I know like through time where we actually like manifest mm-hmm. through time, not just because I thought about it, but actually because I live about it. And I look, I ain't really putting no time limit on it, mm-hmm. but I just know what destination I'm supposed to be going to. So at the end of the day, that's just where I'm gonna go to be a gatekeeper. I really, I really just the thing is like I would like to educate. I would like to educate us as black people. Mm-hmm. You know why? Because to some degree, when it comes to our music, it isn't educating enough. Mm-hmm. It educates us in other ways. But it would keep us in poverty to some degree because of our mindset. Mm-hmm. And a lot Most of times. Most records only give you one quote to live by that's positive. Exactly. Or average, if that. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And and then next thing you, you hear about rappers dying and, uh, and uh, why, why is that only what our race, you know? And it's like the thing that I feel like. I don't know where I'm going with this. No, you but I'm with you. I'm I'm just saying, like, I, I feel like. It it's got to be something different. It it's got to be something different. Well, see, the thing is, I believe that everything's cyclical. Mm. And I believe that um, I've heard, actually, people say, um, what's the name just said it? Buster Rhymes just said it. 
He said, when I'm talking to these companies, they saying that they don't want this music because y'all are killing each other and y'all messing up business and they can't do this, that, and the third to follow through with business. This is a real thing. It's going to start, it's going to go from expanding the numbers mm -hmm. to fucking the numbers up. Yeah. And it's only going to fuck them up for the percentage of people that participate in that kind of rhetoric or whatever have you. Right. Because what they going to do is box your 13% ass out. All right. You know what I mean? It's quick to ignore you. Like the switch is on right now and it's flowing. The, the water is running. Mm -hmm. But as soon as they decide that it ain't worth the hassle and they can't get life insurance on all of y'all. <laughs> you know out. We got to figure something else out. But like I was saying though, you could figure out that Jesus walks. You see what I'm saying? Well, it's crazy that you said that because I like me as a solo oh, artist. I got it already. I oh. I got a I got a gospel <laughs> album coming. Dope. I got Don't. a gospel Fire. album coming. Um, Fire. I feel like that's my calling. Even though I be out in the world, I do other things like how the world be and whatnot. But deep down inside, I know I'm really, I know I'm really different. Like, and, and when I say, you gotta be solo too, though. yeah, it is, it is why because I feel like it's my calling. Like when people, when people say, "Oh, you got gospel album coming," like you don't even look like. You will be doing a gospel album. That's why I'm excited. Yeah, so it's like <laughs> when you said the Jesus Walk thing, I'm like, yo, I feel as though I would be like that. Like, I mean, we played Mary Mary on Power Day Nine. Yeah, it's they played possible. Mary Mary Mary. They did Kurt Franklin and all that. What's but like, Jasmine, no, but Yolanda, Yolanda, yeah, Yolanda. they did them too. <laughs> and, but when you really think about it, it doesn't make me more holy because I'm doing a gospel album. No. It just because the gospel industry ain't no different than the normal Hollywood industry. Business Truthfully, is business. business is business. So that like what goes on behind closed doors is pretty much the same thing that goes on. Yeah. But I just I'm doing this but for that's God. Energy. Yeah. You put energy out there. You put that energy out there. I, I I I I'm honestly doing this for God, and also I'm doing this because I feel like it is my purpose. Why honestly? I want to do it now, but there was a time where I actually didn't want to do it. I didn't want to be that person to put out the gospel. I didn't want to be that person to actually make this type of music for a change. I, I used to always like complain about it or somebody need to do this and be that. And I'm looking for somebody else to do it. And I'm like, yo, how could I be looking for someone else to do it? And I'm the one that needs to be doing it. Mm -hmm. I'm the one that needs to be the change. Like Michael Jackson said, First man in the mirror. Yeah, we're going to talk about business being business. It's bag over there. Real rap. And it's huge mm -hmm. And for good and bad purposes They would love to exploit you over there Which means you can get paid To do what you're doing for God You know what I mean And that's not first and foremost But that's something that people don't realize Them numbers over there is like country music mm. They getting paid You know what I mean They stand, Them churches pay Just like you ask any comedian that can do churches That church bag different I ain't think about that cursing anyway. You know what I'm saying Because black church will give you what there you, go. <laughs> <laughs> you might say bitch. No cat. <laughs> <laughs> if you say it in the right connotation. But like, um, did he just say that? But, but yeah, no. Absolutely. And that's 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 exactly how I feel about it because I might not look like the average gospel artist. I didn't just I just didn't want to be traditional. They look like you. They just ain't on TV. They ain't on TV. I agree. How many I people, agree. how many preachers came from prison? You mean to tell me it's not nobody singing that look like us? For real. Come for real, on, for bro. real, for real. That's true. Like, it don't even make sense. I think That's my true. mom passed and was locked up at one point. I got to double check before I start spreading lies. But <laughs> <laughs> I know one of them was. Ooh. I don't know if it was this one. <laughs> for real. But when you really think about it, like, me being a singer, right, um, people expect from me to, like, do R&B. I could do R&B a little bit, but I ain't really, like, the biggest on R&B. I like to listen to it but I'm still trying to decipher what type of artist I am as far as when I say type of artist I mean like am I an R&B artist am I like a pop artist am I a gospel artist hold up inspiration hey, time up yeah time out. we in the age of Beyonce mm -hmm. you whatever the fuck you feel like long enough to make a project and I agree I agree we but in the age of some people feel like the age of you gotta have that bitch <laughs> Motherfuckers be who they feel like exactly. for a vibe, and if they could get eight out of it, they drop eight of them. And you know that's what it is right now. You know, I like how you put that though. That's true. That's true. That's true. That they is true. The age of Aquarian, like it's just, and that's why we. we that's why artists today <laughs> is versatile. Mm -hmm. But 
Because you see they all dropping dance hall records and stuff like in, in, in club and, you know, different tempos and stuff like what you inspired by, you get the production to do it, vibe to it, and sometimes you can nudge production a little bit. Sometimes yeah. you can do something that they just ain't expect to hear on it. They ain't expect to hear on it. And that's how you bridge the gap. But the thing about it is, it all started with gospel music. Mm -hmm. The roots of it. it started with gospel music. Then it went from Sam Cooke mm -hmm. doing gospel music, he jumps into R&B, rhythm mm -hmm. and blues. Mm -hmm. They called it devil music. The reason why they called it devil music is because they didn't understand it. Anything people don't understand, they might call it evil. So he, they called it devil music, but he came in uh, with rhythm and blues. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't for him doing, see, the thing about you God. You're sleeping, by the way, I caught you. I know. I'm just taking my time with I'm, it. But, I'm just saying, I ain't rushing thing, you, but I noticed that I ain't seen them level change. Before. Yeah, the thing, about, <laughs> the thing about God is that while everybody else saying, oh, this is bad, this is bad, God has a bigger plan. So mm -hmm. he'll, he called Sam Cook out, do these type of records. He mm -hmm. brought out James Brown, mm -hmm. Michael Jackson, mm -hmm. other people down the line that we, we wouldn't even Im imagine it coming out that way. But now today, it, and it birthed hip hop. Mm -hmm. So today, hip hop is booming, but people saying R&B is dead a little bit. It ain't really, I feel like, this is my personal opinion, and mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck what anybody think. No. I feel like it need to go back to gospel music. Then mm -hmm. it's going to bring back a sound of R&B in this generation. It's going to bring back a sound of R&B. I like that idea. <clears throat> I also think that what we spoke to earlier about gatekeepers worrying about the wrong shit. Yeah. It's part of the reason that we have the idea that R&B is dead. The same reason yeah. that we thought hip-hop was dead. Well, not that we thought, but that was the vibes. Right. At one point was because of what was getting fed, right. not what people were producing. Mm. I'm local. I'm in these spots. I'm watching people try to get their shit off and come up. I see motherfuckers still giving it up on a high level. Well, right. And then we know people that have had careers and they might not be at the same height they are, but they still mm. doing it. They still writing fire. All right. They still have a connection to the label, but they not checking for that. They not checking for that. And it's out there. It's out I there. Mean, it's still on SoundCloud and on all the distribution. All right. But it's not going to come. You want to search for it. I think it's, it's you definitely going to have to search for it. It's just, there's no way. All right, all right, don't get me wrong. We got Usher out here. We got, other, you know I mean, he we, 12, since so. he was 12, right? <laughs> but there's no way Chris Brown is the only one in this day and time when we had an example of Michael Jackson, Usher, and Chris Brown. Mm -hmm. Chris Brown is 30. You know what I'm saying? We don't have the young breezy no more. I don't really think females is checking for like the little young artists like the Justin Bieber's and all mm -hmm. that, like that. Like how it was. How it used to be. Sandy's and all of that. Yeah. Mario. It's like we need, we need a new breath of fresh air type of artist that gives you us a familiar sound exactly you got breaking and and i feel like it's my responsibility to do that because because you're a gatekeeper absolutely <laughs> absolutely because you're a gatekeeper i'm with you absolutely. <laughs> that would drink for that so so no, what I, but i like mm -hmm. how you're talking um one thing i wanted to say about five minutes ago I'm almost proud of how well you know the history. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Because yeah. I'm I'm over 40. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And you 29 and you talk like you my age because you feel like <laughs> by the time you my age, you could be on a whole nother twist. <laughs> but at the same time, it's like for you to understand the lineage the way you do it, you summarized it well. Cause you was, I'm watching you skip over things in your head just mm -hmm. to get to the point. And it's like most people don't do the knowledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as long as we can make it exciting to do the knowledge, mm. then the offspring is going to do what it do. Absolutely. Because we all attach ourselves to things that's like us. Yeah. A million little motherfuckers love Allen Iverson because he felt like them. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Five, yeah. ten. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So it's like we identify with what we identify with and we carry it on how we carry it on. But I think we need to stop putting pressure on artists to make specific things and put them in a position to make the greatest quality that they can make in that period and then redo that another way. Another way. I agree with that. I do agree with that. Just like if you mainstream, you might record an album in Cali. Mm -hmm. You might record an album in Puerto Rico. You might record an album in the Treehouse. You might record an album in Miami. You might got to go back to North Philly and go in somebody's basement. 
You see what I'm saying? Right. But whatever you're doing has to fit where you at. Where you at? Yep. Or your pen ain't gonna move. Yep. That's true. So when we force it and we keep pushing, it's like <laughs> it's like we're on both sides of the door trying to push this, the, the 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 desk through. Yeah. It's like <clears throat> yeah, the standstill. To piggyback off what you're saying. Like you, you will hear a certain artist today. Like they put music out there, you be like, "Oh, this the one that's popping right now." Oh, all right, that's what's up. I hear them, mm-hmm. but there are certain people who surprise me. Like mm-hmm. Pop Smoke. I'm gonna be mm-hmm. honest. Pop Smoke surprised I use him me. As an example, a lot, but I want to hear yours. He <laughs> was. I didn't start listening to Pop Smoke until after I heard he passed away. Now I heard his music. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But when I started listening to him, I said, oh, snap. He, he exactly. He was 50. You know what I mean? Like, he had oh, his own ex- sound, exactly but he was 50. And 50 even had to pause and be like, oh, snap. Him. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, when you see that, that's when you know, like, all right, this generation, certain people did pick up certain stuff. You know what I mean? Now I'm explaining why I use them as an example. Mm-hmm. Because we can't throw away babies with bath water. Mm-hmm. We keep talking about this genre. We keep talking about our energy. Mm-hmm. And we've seen that Dirk has become the voice and figured out how to really make music. Yeah. In a real way to where yeah. there's people listening to Dirk that never would have listened to Never would have listened. Yeah. And then you get a pop smoke. And it's a couple other youngins out there um, in New York that they took it to the next level. They were learning how to blend quality that Alicia Keys sample like you know what I'm saying like certain yeah. things is just like oh they was about to yeah. he was about to take it there and then he was acting and he did a good job at acting and it's yeah. like oh now he's starting to look like pop or something yeah like it's it was it was he was special Real and, right. and you know same way the energy Nipsey gave off and the way that he grew and the the, the project that he wound up releasing which is perfect mm. right when we lost him mm. You see what I'm saying? Like some Correct. things are divine. So you can yeah. see the divinity in a pop smoke. And you can see that can be an example to be mm. like, yo, just try to get them in the studio more than they on the streets. Yeah. Try to introduce them to more people to make them inspire to do different things. Tell them that it's possible for you to be like the young lady that's on tour with um Taylor Swift right now. You know what Ice I mean? Spice. Ice Spice. These, are, these artists are watching y'all. Mm-hmm. But y'all are too dangerous for them to attach to you unless y'all play your part yeah but you're great enough to be there if you just stay the course absolutely like, we have to mentor that is true you have to I, mentor I, I, honestly I seen a video of uh, Roddy Rich mm-hmm. right he was complaining about like how the old heads in the industry ain't really like moving out of the way so that the young people or like not it's not just moving out of the way, but they're not helping the young people with extending their hand and right. elevate them. Which makes them in the way. It make, which makes them in the way. So right. now they're looking at it like you got to move out of the way. And it's mm-hmm. like, to hear that, it's like, all right. I heard the same thing. Like, my dad, he preaches. He's a pastor. Like, mm-hmm. when he was at the church and all that, he would be like, oh, the, the older people in the church, they not, like, really moving out of the way. And it's something that older people might do at the time. But I, I, I truly feel like their time is still shining, but they don't I think they're 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 not trusting in the younger generation just yet. You know what I mean? I feel like it's not being hand in hand just yet. I feel like because the genres that we're talking about when it comes to urban black music, yeah, we still so young that the examples are being made in real time. Like mm. we're just now seeing forty and fifty year old rappers doing dope shit. Yeah, I agree. You see agree. what I'm saying? I agree. But the genre ain't older than them. Yeah. If you really think about it, <laughs> what's the example? So just Man. like um, a superstar and a pop star and a rock star used to mean something different than it does in these times, right? Mm, I so see did a going. diva. Yeah, yeah. Right. So now you got people that think, oh, to be that, I gotta be a diva. I gotta be a diva. Yeah. But then you get a Beyonce. And you get a Rihanna. Mm-hmm. And then you ain't got to be a diva because Rihanna on your show is yeah. smoking a J front row and yeah, don't right. give a fuck what camera catch it. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? So it's like 
until we see the re, mm. you don't even know that you could be you Ice Spice. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? Like, it's so crazy. Like, we are so young and we're not giving ourselves enough. Like, we're just now recognizing that we're complaining the same way about the music as our parents did. As our parents did. And I've been trying to explain that to the homies for years. I've been on Facebook. I got many memories of being like, bro, you know what you sound like, right? Yeah. Like, just think about when we were scratching up their records to make some shit they hated. All right. Like, what? (laughs) <laughs> All right. Now we excited that a pop smoke know how to use the sample, but hip hop, which affected R and B also, and sometimes bleeds in the gospel. Mm-hmm. What happens is we can sample every genre. Yeah, we can take it from every genre and put the drums to it the right put the way. Drum to it, yeah. Or put the keys to it the right way. Yeah. Or add some some some. You know what I mean? Some that's all Mike tr- did. And it's that's all we. It's, we've been able to reinvent the thing the whole time in a way that it's like, it's not even fair that we don't tap into all of our options. Yeah. I just feel like they're not, they're not, all right, how can I put it? When I, I, like I say this, they, yeah. I don't know who Artic they is. I don't know who they is, but I feel like, like I said, the gate, I call them the gatekeepers. They're not expanding the idea that it's bigger than where it should be right now i feel like they're they're keeping them they're trying to minimize it as small as possible as small as possible to like basically how could i put this they're trying to minimize as small as possible it was like all right we're gonna have jay-z as the face of males Mm -hmm. in general Mm -hmm. Fuck the singers, but just the face of males in general. And we're going to have Beyonce as the face of females for our type of culture, right? Now, Mm -hmm. back to systematic systematic racism. Yeah. Irv Gotti was trying to get that BET Tales deal Mm -hmm. done for years. Okay. He said, yo, Jay, come to the, you know what I mean? Come to the meeting. Jay came in the meeting. Them white people started acting like they wasn't the bosses no more. Jay said, they said, what do you think we should give Irv? He said, whatever he asked for. Mm. And history was made and he got tells and all of that. Right. They only allow certain people in them rooms. Certain people, right. Or on those stages or on those billboards or right. put them in a certain light on them platforms. But you'll still see Jay-Z be nominated for six awards and lose every fucking one of them. Mm. So let's not get it fucked up. The system is the system. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's the reason now for black love and 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 and, and, and black Twitter, Jay-Z and Beyonce, super goals and all of that cool shit. Yeah. But that's because we have a couple that each of them we're convinced probably have a bill a piece. Yeah. It ain't too many more of them. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? The fact that they are the example of that. Is the reason that they're in those rooms on those stages and vice versa like it works that way but what it it although it's working that way now it's like it doesn't the we don't have really we don't really have examples like michael jackson's anymore like once he was gone it's like the example has turned straight to like gangster yeah, we went through that. You know what I mean? No, like it's like everybody, like everybody years. ain't gangster. You know what I'm saying? And it's like even when they try and come with the the singers too, it's like all that type of style now. Yeah, it's, 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 where it's, it's like and raw. There's no innuendo. The no other raw. type of styles ain't acceptable no more, acceptable no more unless it's that. All right, Remember you know what I mean? When Ruben started apologized, what was that? 2002 or something like that. Carrie Hilson and them started bossing up. Okay. All the women in uh, in R and B started talking like rappers. Mm. Then all the women rap. In my line, she she is not. Mm. <laughs> like it was a shift at that point. Yeah. And all the dudes started begging to eat booty, and all type of nonsense. It it, it got weird, it got bro. Weird. It got real <laughs> weird. <laughs> Things spiraled out of control, I and agree. I don't think nobody was paying attention. It was like yo, the dynamic shifted, mm. and now it's to the point. Where if you tell your lady, I don't appreciate how you was twerking on Usher, you ain't got the right to say so. Bro, we was just talking about that today. Mind you, ultimately, just let's give it the same car blanche y'all been giving Gunner and Thugger. <laughs> Why don't we wait to see the outcome of his statement? 
Mm-hmm. Why don't we just wait until we yeah. see if she acquiesces, Ac- yeah. if they break up. If, let's see what happens before you talk about your situation that has nothing to do with, with Kiki. It. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nothing. But the fact that a man put out a tweet, which was actually very short and very regular. It was like, y'all, y'all keep tagging me, so I'm going to give y'all something. But Oh, that's why. I, I, I get it. Remember, that's a whole. That's a whole. And this will come out in a couple <laughs> weeks. But he took himself off of Twitter. Yeah. And then he went back up and said, thank God to be able to block, block phrases or whatever. The, you know. Oh. Like, he was getting hounded about it. Yeah. But, and he's not a bull. Yeah, like we've seen not. Meek handle things worse, and Meek been a bull since he had fourteen years old. Yeah. So like, yeah, yeah he just says something. It was how that's, he felt. Yeah, it was. That's what. That's but he don't have a right to feel no more. Yeah. But it's it's just <laughs> this is where society is at today, where it's like. But this is why we don't have Michael Jacksons. You know what you gotta do? You gotta be Andre three thousand. You got to operate on your own time. You got to disappear. You got to be a nomad. You have to be unpredictable and not caring to be that level of superstar now. And it's not that many people comfortable enough with themselves because when you do art and you you want praise for your art, Mm -hmm. to go away is not beneficial to your mental state. As much as being a star might not be beneficial to it. Correct. And you we see artists try to find a balance, and then mm. we get mad. It's been a while since you put something out, and mm. then you put something out. It's like, what tip you want? And it's like, you're a rap. <laughs> yeah, bro. You got to be three stacks to be Michael Jackson nowadays. You got to. I'm telling you. You ain't lying. You, you got have to. to. It's 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 got to be a very very big supernatural type of movement going on if you're gonna be on that type of level because all the forces is gonna be with you uh, against you. All the forces are going to be against you. Why? Because you see what type of role models that they want today. They want most people to look at stuff from like they want most of us black people in particularly to look at it from a gangster mindset. And they want the females to look at it from uh, I I don't need exactly. So it's like when it when you when you dig and tap into those backgrounds and these artists out here today that's promoting that you see why it's very few people that's very big and inspiration the rest of everybody else you got they underground artists all right so let's keep it jig mm-hmm. since we came to this country we have gotten all of our strengths and power based off of toxicity and negative negativity mm. based off of surviving mm-hmm not being happy, not being successful, not being fruitful necessarily. Our fruitfulness is contrary to our condition. You see what I'm saying? Absolutely. I raised my family. Mm -hmm. Don't mean any of them went to college. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I did that. Right. Like I was able to do that. Then the next generation, you get a bunch of kids. Oh, I'm the first one in my family to go to college. Mm Mm-hmm. That's one of them. You know what I mean? Like, we're still the first of the everything. First, wow. We're still getting the first Damn. black this, the first black female this, the first this. We're still on all of our firsts. First. And we're not giving ourselves grace. And we're also losing focus on the fact that we need to get so much further. Mm. We're doing both at the same, same time. Same time. I like that. I like that. We're doing both at the I same like time. Nobody has started from below where we started from gotten as far black women as the highest graduating motherfuckers in the country right yeah that shit is crazy yeah that's why they just told you motherfuckers they not gonna let you get no more <laughs> you know what I mean it's, it's, it was over for that you're right oh we gonna let y'all in with actual little 10 points nah we ain't doing that no more y'all mm-hmm. kicking our ass yeah like this is happening in real time we still the first for all of this stuff I, I agree so it's like we are we are against it and we need people that like yourself that are aware of what we're missing mm. to help us get there to keep Absolutely. putting the energy out there whether that's conversationally musically whether that's your opinion in the studio session that's not yours right you see what i'm saying i've I done agree. records with motherfuckers that were shooting shit up and my verse wasn't shooting no way mm. i still Correct. fit the record i just offered a different perspective Absolutely. <laughs> See, stuff like that. People who got an air will hear that. They will mm-hmm. hear that and they understand where you're coming from with that. Mm-hmm. Um, right now, is everything. 
right now absolutely right now as a artist right now what i'm doing as an artist i'm i'm putting my show together i'm trying to like build my show as a solo artist i just been in the studio the dance studio trying to like whip something up i'm not a dancer but i dance you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying uh i have fun I just want to entertain people. I want to. I want it you to look a certain way. You choreographing your own thing, or you working in tandem? With, with, I'm with like pretty much choreographing my own thing. Mm -hmm. It's hard to find the, the direction where I want to go as an artist. It's hard to find people who's there. You know what I'm saying? What I mean, and where I want to go as an artist is like a Chris Brown and Michael Jackson, or just me reinventing whatever it is as a G Myers, like. I'm I'm going more in that direction, but to also still inspire. I don't really have a pinpoint of where I can be like, oh, I'm just this. But I'm putting it together now because it's the beginning stages. Like you said, mm -hmm. we're the first of everything. everything. So this is where it's like with me at this point. I got to mm -hmm. be the first of something. Um, so right now I'm just like dropping singles. I don't have an album yet. I'm putting together a gospel album, but before I put my gospel album out, I'm just putting out singles mm -hmm. and I don't have any solo videos yet. I'm working on the solo videos as I'm working on my singles. I'm putting them out. I do have shows coming up. Mm -hmm. uh, I do have music on iTunes, uh, Spotify, Apple Music, uh, all of that. So they've been drinking. So you got to tell them the name, spell the name. Okay. Yeah. If they, so if they, if they playing the game right, they've been sipping this whole hour. So yeah. Correct. So the name of the song is called King of Finesse. That's my first. Uh, that's my first record that's out right now, mm -hmm. featuring Dino Brown. Shout out to my boy Dino. Italian Dino Brown. Uh, nah. Oh, alright. <laughs> but uh, he he kicked the verse off, and then I I come in for the rest of the song. Mm -hmm. Um. And we have a, I have a show coming up, mm -hmm. August twenty six, mm -hmm. with Lovely Lay, ripping the, uh, runway, ripping the runway. Yeah, shout out to Queen mm -hmm. Marie, and she's gonna be there in the show. Um, Dope. I'm gonna be headlining the show. I'm gonna be closing the show out. You know what I'm saying? You already I know. Heard that. And talk heavy. Um, shout out to all the other artists that's gonna be on the show. I do recommend everybody to come out. Um, Get your tickets. I forgot the name of the website where you can get the tickets. It's called. It's, it's on Eventbrite though. Eventbrite, yes, it's on, it's on it. It's Eventbrite. Eventbrite. Um, the show is gonna be in Delaware. If you're in Philly, you can definitely make a trip out there. Catch Mind a ride you, with somebody. I just was talking about. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Like this is We're right. a couple hours ago, right? Right. Right. But, yeah, definitely pull up to that. I'm excited for that. I um, am too. I'm. 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 I'm being on vacation. So oh. I'm not gonna be able to make it. But when she first told me about it and I've talked to I've talked to her and others since then, like yourself, that's gonna be a part of it. And it's gonna be a vibe. And I remember Rip the Runway like on TV or MTV and all mm -hmm. of that. And we ain't, you're not we mm -hmm. that's what we supposed to be like spice it up. Spice it up, exactly. I think that's dope. Are you excited for that? I'm tremendously like, that's a excited. Different energy. You've been on a lot of different stages. So like right. I don't think this is like, like this. I didn't. This like my first John. Like it's a different. Place. I do shows like in clubs and all that. That mm -hmm. ain't that ain't nothing. You 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 walking on the stage. You know what I mean, doing your song and and dancers is like on the stage and all that. That that ain't nothing. But this is like an actual show where you crowd. You're specifically here to entertain them. Boom! You might it's like do a figure eight while you up there. You might got to swerve a couple I'm, I'm, models real quick. Why you got your thing going? All on. that. <laughs> might got smile at while you up there. Like no, like that's vibe. We're that's rap, so bro. fun. And uh, this this is gonna be a nice major event. Right now, the tickets is at nineteen to twenty dollars. If you, you think. Know. You gonna show up at the door and pay twenty dollars. Nah, I think it's you about gonna, to be about half a man. You you better you better come with some more money because you're gonna pay more at the door than you getting it now. Um my Instagram is G Myers G M Y E R Z. Go to my Instagram, the man, link. Gatekeeper. Absolutely. Go to my page, you're gonna see the link in there. You can get the tickets now. Just Go on there, 
Do it now. Don't wait until August because they might change the price. It might go up a little bit because the time is ticking because it is. People is definitely grabbing these tickets. It's going to be a vibe. And Delaware supports. It's absolutely. It's so a nice artist scene out there that, that don't feel like they're getting it. Tell and they me support about each it. other. They, Tell they, they me give about it, up, it. So that's going to be nice. I can't wait, though. Like I'm, re- <laughs> I'm, I'm really excited. It's like, I'm really excited because I, I know I'm like, yo, like, what was the chances? Let me tell you something, yo. I really was about to quit. I was about to quit doing music. Like I, I've been doing like the solo stuff, and I was just like, you know what? Maybe I should just go into fashion, or maybe I should just do this or do that. And then, uh, Lay and them hit me up. They was like, yo, we we about to do this, and we about to do that, and we want you to do this. And the person dropped out, and we need you to do this. And I'm like, oh, this is confirmation right here for me to continue exactly. to go on. I'm gonna tell you a secret. Mm-hmm. Music is always the commercial anyway. If you're talented in music, it's the commercial. Jay-Z don't put out an album to put out an album. He put out an album to promote all his investments. Yeah. He put out an album for a collaboration he's doing with the company nowadays. Like, Mm -hmm. when he's in bigger business, and it's an example of the fact that, like, Ace of Spades wouldn't be Ace of Spades Mm -hmm. if it wasn't said on the records. Surat. You know what I mean? Certainly, we've seen with, 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 with... Puffy and Buster did the Cavazier for a minute. Like, it just is what it is. Like, if yeah. you could put together a few songs and name drop your own company and three of them <laughs> repeatedly, why wouldn't you? It's the commercial. Mm. And now it's set the it's music and what we yep. know about music and we know the same reason that music is in everything from church to porn is because it, 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 it settles you. It makes it memorable. It gives you something to gauge it by. It All gives right. you a time, space equilibrium it does all of those things i agree it's the best commercial you could ever do with your music yep through a and frequency. you about to tear up gospel anyway so you ain't did that yet so go ahead and do that first absolutely go ahead and do that i'm first. excited about that too man like you know what i mean you and your first lady yeah you know absolutely. what i'm saying absolutely. do that man that'd be that'd be nice Yes, sir. And, and, and with a with a with a suit with your tattoos out. I don't know how you feel. <laughs> like, do, do both. Look, look yo, she is funny. That is a fantasy. <laughs> she said I already had that one. Correct. Correct. <laughs> so I'm I excited. See it. I'm excited about the gospel album because you know, I just feel like it's time. Like, it's time. Like, although I'm putting out my other type of music. But that ain't gonna stop me from doing a gospel album. I know other people might be like, oh, you ain't living holy, you ain't this and that. I might not be living holy. But at the end of the day, if this is gonna touch somebody. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Jesus wasn't walking around with 12 hoodlums? Yeah. I don't, I don't know what's going on no more, man. My, my bad. <laughs> 12 hoodlums. They be drinking wine, they was making water wine. Like, they just say you know what Peter, we do. You know Peter was a. Man. Peter cut the boy ear off. Man. We ain't, listen. Man. Shit at like the action of, movie, when you really think about it. Live by the sword, <laughs> die by the sword. Correct. <laughs> like, we done seen this as John Wick. Like, cut it out. <laughs> no, but um, right. at the end of the day, we ain't here for nobody's judgment. Right. You know what I mean? Right. You said you doing it for God and for a frequency. Mm. Those are your words. God and frequency was the words you used to describe it. Absolutely. I'm excited about you expanding your pilot and accomplishing something new. Mm-hmm. Same That's here. enough for me. Same here. You're a creative. You speak, act, move like a creative. That means you're supposed to create. I rap. I can rap the hardest shit in the world. I usually choose not to. Right. I do a lot of club shit, but I've done them and reggaeton. You know what I mean? Just because I could. Right. I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> but I hopped on them vibes with them vibes and got Correct. my shit off too. You know For what I'm sure. saying? And we I had agree. a ball that we made moments and 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 they and I got traction from those. Mm. So it's like you are supposed to be able to do that, man. Until somebody else is puppeteering your situation, you're supposed to show them all that you can do anyway. So when they say this is all we want you to do, you can say, but my audience already fuck with that. Mm. I gave them that. Look, this joint going up. Did it three times. It's proven. It's proof of concept. Mm. You can't box me in. I'm doing another gospel project. You see what I'm saying? Right. But you gotta give him one you first. Gotta give him one. Yeah. While wow, it's up to you, so you can put it how you want it. Cause you know when they, if it's good, which it will be, because you're going to do it the right way, they gonna put their sauce on the next one. Yeah. It can only get better. It can only get better. It can't I, I get agree. worse. 
I hey, agree. you know how you are. You gonna sit back and be like, "Damn, I should have did one of these." Maybe right. next time I should spend it like this. It's all the second one gonna be done already mm. by the time they ready to vote. I'm actually already thinking about the second one because the first one is pretty much done. I'm brilliant. Hey, I'm a real rat. As he was talking about, I'm sitting there thinking like, "How he know?" I'm already thinking about the second because one like that. I'm a creative too. I'm Absolutely. An too. You Absolutely. see what I'm saying? So at the same time, it's like when I start, I talk to all of y'all. Mm-hmm. I'm 200 and damn it, 20 something episodes in. But like, and and that's this platform. I've had yeah, three of them. Right. But like, I know who I'm talking to when I'm talking to you. Know? So I, 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 I could tell how you will spend. All right. And I can never judge how you will spend because I wouldn't be talking to you if you ain't pull your shit off. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? You already nice. I can't tell you, you dumb as shit. No, you <laughs> put some shit out there. But you're very intelligent and very, um, palatable as a as a conversation as a person and i think that that's why you'll be able to be versatile because you just gonna slide it how you slide it you're gonna show up i received that i received that one thing you said early on Mm -hmm. is that you don't engage as much because there's a lot of nonsense and this and the third protect your energy but one of the ways you protect your energy is on your expectations Mm. don't pull out Mm. Reel back a little bit mentally, yeah. yeah, and still engage at the same level because your engagement came naturally. Mm. You're adjusting for them. Adjust your mindset. Keep I needed moving. that. I needed that because most times, right? absolutely, because most times when I go to events, I sit back and I watch because I, I've, I've I told you I have ten years of experience of doing. Music. I'm a retired gangster. I watch two first. <laughs> But then I'd be like, you gotta work. Gotta work. Yeah, gotta you work. gotta work. You gotta work. And that's the thing. And it's like, all right, who is it worth, you know, networking with? I, you know, get people numbers and, and Instagrams and all that. Bro, but then. Getting, getting somebody number that you never use don't cost you shit. It don't. That's true. It don't but cost you, you never, shit. And you also never know. Like, I might have. But data. Idea. I might have an idea for you now for yeah. something I'm working on. It might not come to fruition for three years. Yeah. But if I got your number, I'm still going to call hit you. you. Right. And that's happens right, right. all the time. You know how I many people I've been posting the interview? I'm not mad at them. I go on Instagram, they working. We'll catch up with each other. No doubt. You know what I mean? Like, no doubt. So just don't put so much into it because it's not a reflection of you. It's either a reflection of them or the time. Mm. And timing is everything. Mm-hmm. And you know that because of what you believe and how you move, right? Absolutely. So never take it personal. Just keep it moving. You got a lot of memory in your phone. Yeah. <laughs> right. Righteous. I agree so with tell that. them again how to keep up with you, how to find you, how to um find your music. Yeah, man. My name is G Myers. Mm-hmm. That part. You can go follow me at Instagram at G M Y E R Z, mm-hmm. not a S, a Z. Mm-hmm. Um, right now I'm just dropping singles. Uh, you can find them on uh iTunes, Spotify, uh, what's the name of it? Uh, SoundCloud. Mm-hmm. Um. Uh, I said Spotify YouTube. I said YouTube too Also yes So Yeah Man We sipping with Sammy right yeah, now part. Man. Favorite song from G Myers All right. So my favorite song from G Myers Is actually on his gospel album And it's called Me It's on uh, a gospel album And it's called Me And that's from the first lady mm-hmm. Cause y'all couldn't hear her <laughs> But I needed a You know Sometimes we gotta get the quick one Because um, When she's commuting That's what she on all right. So that's yeah. love. That's love. That's love. That's what it is, man. I appreciate you, man. No doubt. Enjoy Same you, here, man. likewise. This is Sipping with Sammy. I am Mr. Flash. It only the one and only Sipping with Sammy. Sam Malone, Barstool Rug. If you ain't sipping with Sammy, you ain't sipping right. Please get your fucking life together.
Yeah. 